All right, we're now gonna go over some core exercises. Whenever we're training core, we always wanna make sure we train it three-dimensionally. So that means training the anterior part, which is the front, training the posterior part, which is the back, and the obliques, which is the side. So for the first one, the anterior part, we're gonna go into a V up. So we're gonna go arms up over our head. We're gonna bring our arms and our legs up together and then come back down. So we wanna make sure our heels don't touch the ground and we're not flopping all over the place. If that's too easy for you, then you want something that's a little bit more challenging, we can hold a medicine ball or a dumbbell or a kettlebell or something like that in our hands. The next one we're gonna train is the obliques, so that's gonna be the side part. We're gonna go into what's called a pow up press. So we can grab a band, interlock the fingers, have the band pull you from the side, go into a nice athletic stance, feet shoulder width apart, we're gonna press out, and then come back in. The goal of this exercise is to keep our hands in the middle of our body the whole time. The band's gonna to wanna to pull us and give us the resistance to come back to the side. We wanna use our obliques to stay nice and tight and then come back nice and slow and controlled. And we're gonna do both sides of that one. Depending on the band resistance, that's a very light band, so I would probably go in the 15 to 20 rep range or maybe even go 30 seconds on each side. It all varies on the band that you have access to. Make sure you're getting challenged and make sure you're feeling it in your obliques there. And now for the posterior part, our lower back, we're gonna go into what are called dead bumps. So we're gonna have our hips at 90 degrees, our knees are at 90 degrees, arms are stretched out towards the ceiling, and we're pushing our lower back into the floor. We're gonna extend our opposite arm, opposite leg, get nice and long, come back, and then switch legs. So we always wanna make sure we're bringing our hips and our knees back to 90, and then getting nice and long with each rep. This one's very important because we've probably been sitting around a lot, you know, with what's going on. So this is gonna help strengthen our lower back, which help will, will prevent lower back pain in the future.